Hello students, myself Dr. Bela and I am going to discuss about the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics, we can also that it is the, it follows that the law of conservation of energy. We all know energy can neither be created nor destroyed along it may be converted from one form to another or we can say that the total energy of universe remains constant although it may undergo transformation from one form to another So, the first law of thermodynamics, it is also known as the law of conservation energy. We all, we know that the energy can, according to this law, the energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Along it may be converted from one form to another form or we can also say that the total energy of universe remains constant and it may undergo transformation from one form to another form or we can say that the energy of an isolated system is constant. Next is the justification of this law. How can we justify this law? For example, whenever certain quantity of some form of energy disappears and exactly equivalent amount of some and other form of energy must be produced. For example, if we take one example of the electric fan. What happened when we switch on that electrical fan? In the electrical fan, when we switch on the fan, the electrical energy is converted into It was the theoretical justification. If we see the mathematical justification, the mathematical justification of first law of thermodynamics is the relation between internal energy and heat and work. So we can also that the, it is the relation between internal energy, heat and work. So first we can say that the internal energy of a system can be increased by two ways. What are these two, two ways? First we can increase the internal energy of the system by supplying heat to the system and the second way 
to increase the internal energy of system is the by doing work on the system at that time what happened for example we have an a system suppose in a closed container which is closed by a piston having some filled with a gas in the starting the internal energy of the system is u1 after some time if we provide some heat that is the q to the system or heat is absorbed by the system at that time what will be the change in the internal energy of the system at the time the internal energy of the system be become u1 plus q means the initial internal energy plus heat that is absorbed by the system and second if we do some work on the system that is the w means work done on the system if some some work done on the system at that time what will be the change in the internal energy of the system that becomes u1 plus q that was already before the work done of the system and after when we do some work means u1 plus q plus w means this one is is the initial stage of the system and we can say that this is the final stage of the system so we can also denote the final stage by the u2 u2 so here u1 is equal to internal energy of the system at initial stage q is the heat that is the given by th given to the system or absorbed by the system w is the work done on the system and u2 is the internal energy of the system at final stage so we can also summarize in the form of equation that is the u2 is the final stage is equal to sum of the all the energy that is given to the system initial it was u1 after that adding q means some heat and work so u2 is equal to u1 plus q plus w we can also write that u2 minus u1 is equal to q plus w u2 minus u1 what is the u2 minus u1 means internal energy difference from of the final state and initial state so so we can also write that it is a delta u so delta u is equal to q plus w here delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 means internal energy of final state minus internal energy of the initial state is equal to change in internal energy delta u is equal to what is the change in internal energy so this is the mathematical justification or mathematical derivation of the first law of the thermodynamics we derive the previous thermodynamic law here the work is done on the system if if the work is done by the system means if the system will work that is the case of expansion in the case of expansion w is equal to minus p delta v if you put the value of work in the equation that is derived for the first law of thermodynamics means delta u is equal to q plus w we derived here here the work is the expansion means it is the minus p delta v so we can put the value of w work here u is equal to q minus p delta v so we can also write this is equal q is equal to delta u plus p delta v so in the case of expansion the first law will be 
we can derive the first law of thermodynamics is that the q is equal to delta u plus p delta v